First, I'm starting this look off with making my eyebrows black, and I'm using a simple black coal eyeliner to do this. Here I'm switching to a more precise brow pencil and I'm just making sure all the edges are clean. Now I'm using that same black pencil and I'm drawing a winged outline right above my crease. And here I switched to a liquid liner. Today I'm using my True Blood palette and the first color I'm picking up is this beautiful dark burgundy color and I will apply it right on the lid. And here I'm just lining my waterline. And now I decided that I wanted to blend that harsh line out and make the look a little bit softer. Here I'm taking this nude color and I will blend that in all the way to the brow. On the lower lash line I'm just using the black that's in the palette and you can use any black shadow you want. And now I'm going to use these stickers and start creating the fun part of this look. And now using this liquid eyeliner, I will start creating my designs. Remember, they don't have to be perfect. And if you mess up, you can always go back in with a q-tip and just fix it. Now with white cream makeup, I will be placing little white dots all along my design.
And now I will apply these amazing lashes. I'm going to apply them right above the crease instead of the original lash line to make my eyes more dramatic. And for even more drama, add some fun bottom lashes. I also decided to add some crystals to the design to complete the look. And since I don't have a black lipstick, I'm using the same black eyeliner to finish the look off. And now your dark fairy look is complete. And here's what the look looks like without the wig. <laughs> 